Okay, today's prophetic word is going to be hundredfold. Akaye. Akaye. Today's prophetic word is going to be hundredfold. And we are going to be talking about sacrificing. Akaye. What we have to sacrifice, Akaye, and give up for God. To have a relationship with Him. Akaye. Okay. So what I'm going to do first is I'll read scripture, Akaye, and then I will give the revelation and the impartation that God gave me, Akaye. So in Mark chapter 10, it's verse 17, it says, And as he was setting out on his journey, a man ran up and knelt before him and asked him, Good teacher, what must I do to inherit eternal life? And Jesus said to him, Why do you call me good? No one is good except God alone. You know the commandments. Do not murder. Do not commit adultery. Do not steal. Do not bear false witness. Do not defraud. Honor your father and mother. And he said to him, Teacher, all these things I have kept from my youth. And Jesus, looking at him, loved him and said to him, You lack one thing. Go sell all that you have and give to the poor, and you will have treasure in heaven. And come, follow me. Disheartened by the saying, he went away sorrowful, for he had great possessions. And Jesus looked around and said to his disciples, How difficult it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God. And the disciples were amazed at his words. But Jesus said to them again, Children, how difficult it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. It is easier for a camel to go through the eye of a needle than for a rich person to enter the kingdom of God. And now they were exceedingly astonished and said to him, Then who can be saved? Jesus looked at them and said, With man it is impossible, but not with God, for all things are possible with God. Peter began to say to him, See, we have left everything and followed you. And Jesus said, Truly I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel who will not receive a hundredfold now and this time houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions and in the age to come eternal life. Akaye. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. Okay, so Akaye, I'm going to stop right there. Akaye, so what happens is Jesus, I say, is setting out on a journey. I say, and he's with his disciples. Akaye, and a man runs up to him and asks him, How do he inherit eternal life? So Jesus said, Him, you know, you know the commandments, keep the commandments. Akaye. So the, the the man responds, these things I have kept since my youth. He's saying, I've done all of these things since I was young. But Jesus tells him in Mark chapter 10, verse 21, and Jesus looking at him, loved him. So when Jesus was looking at him, Jesus was showing love. He loved him. Like, I said, he wasn't looking down on him. He looked at him and loved. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. I said, so, and Jesus looking at him, loved him and said to him, you lack one thing, go sell all that you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come follow me. I said, so listen, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. The revelation here is this man had followed all of the other commandments, every commandment that there was, but listen. I said, thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Jesus is so good. God is so good. He will tell us the one thing that we lack. I said, God is not telling us this to tear us down. I said, but God is telling us this because he wants us. He wants us to come and inherit his eternal life and be in his kingdom. I said, so he helps us. God helps us and tells us where we fall short. Where we're falling short, where we need to get better at, where we need to work on. Akaye. So Jesus tells the man in Mark chapter 10, verse 20, and he said, I mean, 21, and Jesus looking at him, loved him and said to him, you lack one thing. Hey, 
And he goes on to tell the man what he lacked. He says, go and sell all that you have and give to the poor and you will have treasure in heaven and come and follow me. But in Mark chapter 10, verse 22, it said, disheartened by this saying, he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions. Hey, for he had great possessions. So listen, Akayev, he wants to know how can I, I, I obtain eternal life? Hey. So he tells him how he can obtain it. He tells him where he's lacking. Akaye, what he can do. I say, go sell your possessions. Akaye, give to the poor. But instead of the man, I say, thank you, Lord. Instead of the man doing what Jesus said, hey, going to sell what he had and give to the poor, he walked away disheartened. I say, I say, listen, he walked away disheartened. Akaye, it says, it says, for he had great possessions. He had great possessions, Akaye, which means he was wealthy. I say he had a lot. Eh. But listen, listen, Akaye, more than more than anything, this was showing what was in his heart. Eh. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. This was showing his heart posture. Eh. His heart posture was not right. Here it is, you want to obtain eternal life. And you speak it to ah, you speak it to the Son of God, and he tells you. How he get he just give you right out the answer of what you could do, hey! But his heart was not in the right place. He was he was trusting in his riches. He was loving in his riches. He was holding on to that with his dear life. Hey, da, 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 I said that I said, hey! And he was not willing to go and sell Akaye his possessions. Hey, da, 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 I said it says in Mark chapter 10 verse 22 disheartened by the saying he went away sorrowful for he had great possessions and Jesus looked around and said to his disciples how difficult it will be for those who have wealth to enter the kingdom of God and the disciples were amazed at his words but Jesus said to them again children how difficult it is for those who trust in riches to enter the kingdom of God. I said, I said, I said listen, Akaye, hey, we cannot serve two masters. I said, I said, all of our trust is to be in God. Hey, all of our trust, everything that we have. Hey, see, 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 listen, Akaye. And then thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, God. God is telling me even now how he missed out. Listen, y'all, we're going to get to the bottom of this. He missed out. Hey, so I know you're thinking, okay. How did he miss out? Listen, I see. it says in Mark chapter 10, verse 28, and Peter began to say to him, see, we have left everything and followed you. And Jesus said, truly, I say to you, there is no one who has left house or brothers or sisters or mother or father or children or lands for my sake and for the gospel who will not receive a hundredfold now. Who will not receive a hundredfold, a hundredfold, a hundredfold now in this time, right now, in this time, hey, houses and brothers and sisters and mothers and children and lands with persecutions. Listen, hey, and I said, you'll receive it. Hey, he says, with persecutions and in the age to come to eternal life, okay, hey. But many who are first will be last, and the last will be first. See, listen, this is where he missed it out at. I see, this is where he missed it out at. Yeah. 